afternoon, everyone. As you can see, the talk of the day today is how to help yourself by helping others. We rise by lifting others. Have you ever wondered how life would be so different if human beings were unconditionally helpful and kind to one another? Dictionary defines the word volunteering as to freely um, offer, to freely work, um, sorry, to freely work to do something and working for an organization without being paid. And Wikipedia defines the word volunteering as an action that benefits to a person, group, or organization. As you can see, these definitions do not mention how volunteering impacts the volunteer themselves. One of my fellow volunteer friends said volunteering is a win-win situation. But I see it, it's a more than win situation for a person who is volunteering. For the next few minutes, I will talk about why we should volunteer and the benefits of volunteering. Specifically, why we should volunteer abroad. I will begin my talk sharing my experience in Kenya. Since I was a young girl, I always wanted to volunteer and help people in some ways. Growing up, I heard lots of stories about Africa from my parents, where they have traveled many countries like Kenya, Tanzania, Ethiopia. They always said, one cannot resist the lure of Africa. This was one of the main aspirations for me to go there. After living in London eight years, I moved back to my country summer 2015. So I began search for volunteering programs, and the search lasted for months. Finally, I found Marafiki community in Kenya through an organization called Love Volunteers. And um, in the December, late December 2015, I went to Kenya for a five-week volunteering program. And I didn't know it would be the best experience that I ever had in my life. It changed the way I see through everything. Kenya was as spectacular as a country and the people I met all the way through was truly amazing, and it really touched my heart and soul. At the very moment when I landed at Jomo Kenyatta Airport in Nairobi, I already felt at home. I felt really comfortable and excited, obviously. And the air that I breathed was strangely familiar. Even though it was my first time in Kenya, and I've been to many countries, but I never felt like this before. Initially, I chose the Women's Empowerment Program, which was to work with and encourage girls from 9 to 20 years of age, and the girls who had survived from the sexual abuse child labor, human trafficking, gender-based violence, and forced migration. These girls went through horrifics in their lives, but now they're happily living with their friends, their babies, and the caretakers of the Talia Aglis Girls Shelter. At the Girls Shelter, I try to bring best out of me by teaching English, also art classes, and helping them with their chores, like cooking, cleaning, taking care of the babies, and also, you know what girls like to do, like singing, dancing, and putting the makeup on. And although I went there to help for them, I felt they were the ones who helped me. They have been eating the same food every day, Instead of wanting something else, they were thankful for the food. 
and especially when they eat meat, they pray and they they were thankful for the animals who sacrificed themselves. And the girls were just amazing and fun to be with. I loved the very every moment that I spent at the girls' shelter. In three weeks only, we already became family, sisters. And their kindness not only showed in that way, but also in many ways. And this was one of the many lessons that I have learned. And when it's a playtime, they didn't have a ball to play with, so they made a ball out of their tights. How wonderful and creative are these girls. When I left there, as I said, I was the one who has been helped, and I was the one who is thankful for their time. On my last week of Kenya, I decided to volunteer at the baby orphanage called Angel. And um, helping with the babies, taking care of the babies, it was just one of the most amazing feeling that I ever had. They had the cutest brown eyes and the curly hair, and some even called me mommy. It just melted and broke my heart at the same time, because I think the, one of the greatest tragedy in life is the child who is suffering um, through his or her early ages without having the support or guidance of their loving mother. That's why I think it's such a noble case for me to work and help at the or orphanage. Our duties included taking care of the babies, changing the nappies, bathing them, feeding them, you know, um, get an eye on the toddler's side so they wouldn't get into mischief because you know the toddlers. And I was just so happy that I have helped them and I was there for them to show them love and affection that they're cared. I noticed that every child was really unique. And I hope one day that they would have a true family to get raised with. Working with the babies and the women was the best thing that ever happened in my life. It was really, really rewarding that I was really surprised at how much we can get by giving. And if you ever thought about volunteering, just take a leap of faith and go for it because the prize will be amazing. You see the real world. So, why volunteer? As we know, there are lots of benefits. If we volunteer, there are lots of benefits to the other person, group, or organization. However, there are many prosperities for the volunteers themselves. Based on my experience, um, the volunteers include making differences in our life, gaining confidence, learning new skills, developing our characters, boosting our career options, being a part of the community. It provides you with a sense of purpose, develops new interests and hobbies, that allow, and also it allows you to have fun while helping others. Moreover, you learn to appreciate of more of what you have because we are never happy about ourselves or what we have. We always want more. Our human desire seems to never be satisfied, but volunteering 
it will help you to appreciate more of what you have. It shows that loving a total stranger is possible. How? Obviously by volunteering. It's an opportunity to grow and redefine yourself. And adding on top of all these benefits, the most important thing that I loved was how it made me feel. So when I decided to uh, go to Kenya, volunteer in Kenya, I told my friends and they were like, why volunteer abroad? And some seemed to be very surprised. Some were a bit disappointed and some thought I was brave. But volunteering abroad, it gives you lots of opportunities. It opened my eyes to see a world in a different light. And also, it allows me to, it allowed my, uh, it improved my awareness and respect for the other cultures. And it showed me that you don't have to speak the same language to understand one another. Also, it allowed me to getting out of my comfort zone. And it changed my life for a better forever. And you also have a better sense of feeling that what's going on around the world. That's why I chose volunteering in Kenya. So it's important to know if you want to volunteer where and how to start. And I have a few tips for you. So firstly, you should start now. If you think of volunteering, you should give at least three to 12 months if you want to volunteer abroad because it takes lots of time to the vaccinations and travel visas and all this. So make sure you have enough time for that. And number two, research. Try to co collect as much as information you can. There are different organizations and that support different causes, but unfortunately in Mongolia, we don't have an organization that tells the volunteers, uh, that sends the volunteers abroad. So, you need to search for the internet so that you can collect as much as information you want. Number three, decide on the country which you would like to volunteer. As I said, I always had Africa on my mind. So, choosing Kenya from that continent was, made my search a lot easier. And number four, decide on the cause. So now you decided on the country, it's going to be easier for you to decide on the cause. And I think it's helpful to list what you can do and what you want to do. And contrast the lists and go for what you want to do. Even if you think you cannot do it, don't worry. You'll never know until you try it. And obviously, practice brings practice makes practice makes one step closer to the perfection. And number five, choose an organization. Once you decided on the cause and the country, it's gonna be easier for you to choose an organization. But before choosing the organization, Contact with the former volunteers via Facebook and ask their experiences about the organization. And lastly, request volunteering. So once you have decided the organization, you just have to request volunteering and pay the deposit. Everything follows from there. They give you a clear guidance of the travel visas, vaccinations, what you should do and what you should expect and what you should need. So once these steps are completed, all you have to do is wait for the day that you leave and the real adventure begins.
from there. Volunteering in Kenya was the best thing that ever happened in my life. It didn't only bring joy and happiness to the others, also, it led to my personal growth and also spiritual growth. That is an experience that you cannot bought at, of any amount of money. I hope that one day each one of you choose to volunteer and the experience that great feeling that I have experienced while I was volunteering in Kenya. And help yourself by helping others. Thank you.